Almost Shabbat Shalom. Well, let me turn so the sun is not... Uh, the sun is out here. All right. Well, oh, I like this light. Man, looks like I'm tanning. I'm tanned. Oh, all right. I stay like this all day. I feel completely tanned. So, um, I'm out here. We're out here. I don't know really where here is, but it's somewhere east. Uh, decided to, uh, to take some days off for a birthday of a very special Julie. And, um, and it's wonderful, everything falls right, everything falls right in time when it does, right? And what I want to share with you, and I started with, with this, this uh, park, this uh, of the child, the kids, because this is really about wonder. You know, wonder, and I want to share with you about leadership and the connection to shame. It's it's interesting, and and how that and how the shame is is really keeping us out of our wondership, of our wonder, of children, of being uh, wonderful comes from 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 wonder. That's my take on that. It's really the place of no judgment. The place of disconnect from everything and all possible things that are associated with anything that we know until now. So I started with this. Hi, Ruhama. I started with this uh, play, play pan, play yard, because it's really about wonder, and that's about leadership. And leadership is wondering. Why wondering? Because. It's disconnected from anything that we're familiar with, anything that we know, anything that we have judgment 
about. I keep, I'm, I'm going to stay here keeping this thing on the, on this plane. I got permission to film that, that, the child over there. It's really about wonder. So this Parsha is really about leadership and how to find these unique ways of leadership. And it's, and it's always back to basics, right? It's always back to basic, to basics where in, as children, we are wondering, we really don't think about what will happen or how will happen. We're just experiencing it without the, uh, the judgments that are the stories or the, the drawers that we have. So in this parasha, in this parasha, this portion of the week, parashat lech lecha, and in English it'll translate, go to you, like, go out, go to you. And, and God is telling Abraham, go, leave, leave for your own sake, and leave for your own sake to leave all the places that you are familiar with. Leave the places of your father, leave your country. It starts from the, from, from, from the, from the big picture, from the country to your city, to your father's house, to your family. Because we have, we have all these judgments, we have all these expectations, social structures, social expectations from anybody, from everybody. You know, and, and leaders, it's not that leaders don't follow. Leaders follow other people. Leaders set example to other leaders. It's just like teachers have, there are teachers for teachers. There are musicians for the musicians. Uh, like Juan Mati Caspi, for example, right? Uh, there's, there, there are musicians for the musicians. There are leaders for the leaders. There are teachers for the teachers. But the unique thing about these leaders that are following other leaders, uh, I'm, I'm talking about an authentic leader, a leader that is coming, and, and this is exactly the example of Abraham, is they follow them not because everybody else follows them. They follow them because they have this spark. They have this wonder. They set a spark, they set something aside, they set something unique that is unique only to them, that nobody else thought of, and it is authentic. It comes from an authentic place. And look at Abraham. Abraham, till today, everybody refers to our forefathers, our Abraham. Abraham is, is the leader of some so many billions of Christians, billions of Muslims, uh, the few 30 millions of Jews, and he's still a leader. Why? Because he is leader of truth, a leader of wonder, a leader of authenticity, setting, setting straight, setting things like a child, like a wonder, coming from a place of a wonder, not uh, bound by any structures. So lech lecha, go for you, leave the country, leave your fathers, leave your family, leave your, your structures, your, your friends. So you can be delivered from your own mind, from your own structure, from your own uh, uh, social structure, family structure, country structure. I'm not talking about the leaders of today because I don't call the leaders of today leaders. The leaders today are dealers. They're not leaders. They're dealing. They're dealing. Why are they dealing? Because they're dealing for their own benefit, for their own good. It is not about the good and the benefit of who elected them to be in office, of who elected them to be in a place that is taking care of us as children, as wonder, in a wonder place, in a place of wonder. A child goes into a puddle of, of uh, uh, a puddle, a puddle of water. He doesn't think, oh, I'm not going, he's going into the puddle, he's going to experience that wonder. And this is what we expect and this is what I want from my leader. And this is what I want to be led by, by wonder, by sense of disconnected from any social structure, disconnected from any social pressure. Let's put it, this is more accurate, social pressure. It is not pressure that the leader is not going to look like the other leader, like the leader from Israel looks like the one that is now in the States. You know, they, they look alike, they talk alike, it's like the same rhetoric. They look alike, it is all, it is not about right or left up or down, middle or backwards, it doesn't matter. It is. It matters really the structure. So, so what is happening, and this is the connection to shame, and this is happening because of the place, so there is a shame, right? So why don't we, uh, why do many, many times we follow uh, others? Because we don't want to be looked at like we're not following others. So there is a social structure, there is a social pressure. Many times because we don't want to be looked at somebody who is defying, 
what everybody else is doing. And there are so many researches um, that are showing the, the so many um, tests, so many group tests that have been set to show the social pressure on somebody when they are in a group of people. And how is that person responding when everybody does something Although it's not true, although there is no authenticity to it, but that person will do that because they don't want to be different. Why they don't want to be different? Because they don't want to be in a place of shame. Shame, shame, beautiful ones. Shame is the lowest energy, is the lowest energetic uh, uh, frequency that exists. It is the lowest of the lowest. It's almost kind of thinking like, wait, were we created with a flaw? I mean, on one hand, we have the spark of godliness. We are, we, are, we are the spark of creation. We are here to take the potential that we were created with, that we were created in, and exalt it and make it better, right? And then on the other hand, we have this place of shame, of place of don't go to this place, because if you go to this place, you are tapping into the deep, deep places of, of part of the human construct of being in this shame and so many times we don't know we don't want to do uh, what we really feel because of the shame of being seen different but here is take it more than that and this is why also the Kabbalah is here the the, 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 the Kabbalah Bible is here the Kabbalah teachings are here Kabbalah in Hebrew means receiving to be a an instrument of reception and to, uh, to, uh, and this is really what our world needs now, more than anything, is to fix our way of receiving. And the reason there is shame is because we do not know how to receive. Somebody who doesn't have any means, somebody who's on the streets, and somebody who, who uh, doesn't have food to eat, or doesn't have water, or clean water, or anything. So, so you see they're ashamed, they're shameful, they're, they don't know how to receive. Many times, we come with patterns in relationships where we were so beaten up that when we receive something, we automatically think that we need to give something. So this receiving is kind of tied up into something and definitely not part of a wonder like children, but it's tied into something. And so the receiving is being conditioned by a pattern that we come with that we think we have to give or we think we have to perform. And that is not knowing how to receive and so when we fix when we work on receiving then there is no shame even better even more than that how can we work on the place of receiving is taking that place of anything that we have any any anything that we have we have a dime we have a pear we have an apple we turn anything that we have into a place of giving into a place of giving, when we turn anything that we have into a place of giving, there is no shame. Why? Because that giving, because that receiving that I receive is intended for the giving, is intended for the other. And this is what is love your neighbor, your friend, in the same way that you express love to yourself. Yes, we love ourselves, we practice for ourselves, so we can be in service for others. And then, and then this, this place of shame, this place of receiving is healed. It's not fixed from the sense of being broken. It's fixed from the sense of the creation point, that we see things differently, that we start seeing things again with wonder, like children, be on the, play, on the playpen without any, any hesitations going into those beautiful places and discovering new things, just sitting on the grass, just being near a tree, just being in a place where we can just enjoy the wonder. And things are, things are difficult now. Things are challenging because of this Quranic era and those who've created certain political eras around this. And so these leaders today are no leaders. These leaders are dealers because they're dealing with their lives because it is, it's a, they are here to support their own personal agenda. I don't care who that is. Left, right, middle, up, top, top, bottom. This everything has to be uprooted and everything is coming, is coming, this end of the year. This everything is, is rushing through, a, through a, narrow, a narrow bridge. And when we come out of the other bridge or the other side of this, of this hallway, you will feel the shift. We're already feeling the shift, but you will feel the release of the shift. And so this is really what really 
set on my on my heart and on my my every place of being is really to share this place of how this leadership is tied into shaming and into shame and why do we choose certain things why do we choose even with this voting thing even with this who are we voting for or why are we voting ties into a social pressure because now everybody who you vote for oh there are flags here flag there this sign these signs use the gift that you have to make your own choice based on your own discoveries best based on your own experience of wonder based on your own experience of joy and to find the joy in everything that you have and we turn everything that we have into a giving into a giving to the other person and when we make this a, a giving our receiving is to serve that and slowly the shame is not there because we're it is not for our egoic self so I hope this lands well with you and sits in the right place with you because this is all for you exactly who have to watch this and you're watching this. And so we're going to... Um, hi, Uchama. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you for being here. This is, this is so... It's been sitting on my heart for the last few days and, and, and the week and it's just pushing to this. How everything is tied into shaming, into, into shame of choosing choosing making choices because of a social pressure because of a social structure because of the family and this is why God this is why Abraham is a great leader because he went lech lecha go to you for your own good you better leave your house your family your comfort zone everything that you're familiar with because they will affect your judgment so I want to show you do you see that over there I don't know if you can see that let's see yeah see that thing over there no not this one over sorry over there over there over there over there over there that mini weenie yeah bite a la gav tzav so shabbat shalom i love you whoever you're watching you get this right away shalom shalom